Be in my life, we had the opportunity to be with Victoria the last year. She used to go to our house by nine o'clock and sleep some hours and then go to her apartment. And for me, it was so amazing when I saw all the time the church, every time you're praying for her there, or singing, I was listening. And I was telling me, what a church. This church cared about the members. Congratulations. Amen. I wish I could be a member in a church like this. And Victoria used to go almost every day to our, to our apartment. And the babies, they were in my house when they were real small because I had heart surgery and I was four years and a half inside of my house. And many times she knocked the door with two babies. Can you take these babies until my husband is coming? I felt so happy because she could trust me. And then when the husband arrived, he says, I came to see my babies. I said, no babies over here. <laughs> yeah. And then the husband, a great man, working man. Amen. It's amazing. What Hallelujah. a man. Hallelujah. Right and now. Victoria, what a lady. Special. Mm -hmm. Now the world will see me the internet about her. But two or three years ago I had one video about her. In the internet. Yes, because we were great friends. I was asking questions and she was answering. My wife <clears throat> took care of this lady the best she could. Amen. Preparing food, medicine, and being together. I'm so excited that the good Lord put us together. Amen. And the last year, she used to go to our apartment and singing with my wife. My wife is a singer, and we used to sing together, and sometimes I used to play harmonica. <laughs> For me, lose Victoria is a terrible pain in my heart. I'd like to see maybe I could play on song that I used to play when she was there. Thank you, Lord.